Right, I was being a pretty slack bastard and I haven't shown the uh, aquaponics um, flood and drain beds for my strawberries because um, yeah, I'm just uh, you know sort of too busy doing other shit. And um, but so these straws are in uh, expanded clay or pea gravel. This system floods um, for 15 minutes every hour, and then the pump shuts off and it drains back. Um, I do apologise for how absolutely dreadful, um, and I haven't been maintaining them, and I'm a bad bastard. See all this stuff. This all should be taken out. These plants need to be regenerated, but I haven't done it because I've been too busy doing other stuff. But um, now the runners are coming. So these runners, which I should have removed, I didn't. I meant to last year grow new plants, but ran out of time. So now it's putting runners on, which means it'll stop fruiting and it will put on heaps of runners. There's been masses of fruit right through here. And this is grown in aquaponics, so I'm pretty pretty happy with that. Um, but so they'll finish up now and they'll do that. So here's the... Um, basic um, aquaponic setup. So I've got two IBCs. Um, they're under a shed roof, so they're covered. Um, so what happens here is, this is my fish tank. I've just got some some pearl cichlids in here and some uh, yabbies, which I've um, got sort of from the local park. They'll probably come up for a feed now. There they are. So, and there, so they, they didn't cost any money. That's how I like to do it, don't cost any money. And um, so that stays full all the time. That's the fish tank. And then this is a sump over here. So this one goes up and down. Again, this has just got yabbies and some um, some cichlids in there. So what happens is the pump is in here and it pumps up and it pumps up to that bed and fills that bed. And it also has a diversion that goes over into there. Um, because otherwise there's too much flow. It's got a 3,000 um, litre an hour pump in here. And there's another one in there to aerate that tank. So what happens is, the timers are up here, but I can sh show you anyway. So this pump just creates aeration. It comes on for half an hour and it switches off for half an hour. And that's just uh, a bit of, what is it, 15 mil pipe, I think. All right, so that's what that does. Then, the other one. Get in there. All right, so here's the other one. All right, so this, this is the pump that floods the beds. So it pumps out of here. And it also pumps into here, and pumps into here. So, you can see there, so I just, oh, that's a frog. <laughs> they, so that fills those beds and then they, they drain. Where's the drain? Drain is, uh, this one, this one's, um, gets a bit flooded actually. That's why the plants don't look as good. It, um, it needs to be cleaned out. So another project I have to get onto is sorting this out. There's a, um, There's a, there's a drain thing in here somewhere. Here it is, here it is. So, I chickened out on the bell siphon and I um, uh, I just put a standpipe in there and drilled holes in it and um, put holes in the cap as well to, so, and that's slightly below the top level of these um, half drums. And so what happens is it fills up in that 15 minutes that the pump's running, this pump's 15 minutes every hour, it fills up um to the top and then it switches off and then all of this drains back drains back through that and through this uh pipe and another one there so there's two two separate drums and that drains back into here and then this has also got a pipe at the same level or two pipes at the same level to drain back into here so this, this sump goes up and down. That fish tank always stays at the same level. And then I catch, so in winter I catch rainwater off the roof of the shed to fill these. 
and when there's too much, like when the when the IBCs are full and I don't want any more rainwater in there, I um I just let it go let it go back into onto the um, ground and it soaks into the ground. And uh, here's my new Harley Davidson. Hope that explains how that works. Thank you.